I would now like to welcome our principal, Mr. Brian Beck, up to the podium to present the awards to the class. This is the first time in my life that I've ever moved the microphone up, especially after following Kira. Tonight, I'm very proud to be the principal at Hopkins Academy. As you know, the class of 2014 will be the 350th class to graduate from Hopkins. As we saw from the beautiful events celebrating this remarkable anniversary over the course of this year put together by Joe and Judy Pellis and the dedicated members of the 350th anniversary committee, Hopkins Academy has a long tradition of academic, athletic, and artistic excellence. This is a bittersweet time for families. There's a little bit of sadness realizing that your babies are all grown up, and I'm not at this particular point trying to inspire anybody to cry, although as I'm making eye contact with a couple of folks, I'm wondering. So look at the plus side. A room opens up in your house, and you can put that hot tub in that you've always been thinking of. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we must take great pride in their achievements here at Hopkins and have them, have them leave tonight knowing that they are exceptionally well prepared to tackle life after high school. The list of scholarships and awards that I have the great privilege to announce tonight is testimony to the outstanding efforts of a senior class and the support shown for students at Hopkins Academy by a community that puts everything it has into the education of its children, and its children produce results. A special thanks to this, for the support for the students of Hopkins Academy, to the Hopkins Academy Board of Trustees, the Hadley Mothers Club, the Hadley PTO, Helping Hearts for Hadley Schools, and the Hopkins Academy Athletic Boosters and Music Boosters Clubs. With your endless efforts on behalf of our students, Hopkins Academy is able to provide an incredible educational experience for our kids. I would like to thank and acknowledge a number of people who have also worked behind the scenes to coordinate the presentation of the awards and the preparations for class night and the graduation ceremony. First of all, Class Advisors, Jason Burns and April Camuso. <laughs> Guidance Director, Angie Cullinan and Administrative Assistants, Nancy Fogarty and Caitlin Lord. <laughs> All the members of the Hopkins faculty who participated in the debate, discussion, and ultimately the approval of many of the awards and scholarships. And I want to thank head custodian Jeff Mish, or as the seniors know him, the man, the Mish, the legend. Not only for the work that he has done, but because he's like a walking bottle of sunshine everywhere he goes, or running bottle of sunshine. I also want to take a moment to thank Eddie Foreman, Paula Bannock, and Diane Chapman for their help in making sure that I knew how Hopkins does graduation. And the beautiful floral arrangements that you see here tonight <clears throat> were provided by Ms. Banish, Terry Smith, Lisa and Diana West, and Montgomery Rose. Thanks also to Chris Moriarty, Maureen Jocks, and Paula Rodak, along with seniors Caroline Moriarty and Kira Mahalik for their assistance with the flower arrangements. Thanks also to TV, sorry. <laughs> Thanks also to TV5 and Mr. Tresswell for sending both the awards program and graduation live to all of Hadley. And if I could ask that folks, as we go through the process of, of bringing awards to uh, please refrain from you know, rushing toward the stage and taking pictures of their graduates. There are, um, there are photographers about and those pictures will be made available to you. This year's graduating class has continued the, tr the long tradition of excellence that's been associated with the Hadley schools in general and Hopkins Academy in particular. As everyone knows, this excellence was once again recognized in US News and World Report's list of America's best high schools. And the class of 2014 has carried on that standard of excellence. This year's class has 36 of 43 students who have a minimum grade point average of 3.0 or above. The seniors have all worked very hard to contribute to that ongoing legacy. The class of 2014 also has a remarkable 
32 of its 43 students who scored in either proficient or advanced on their MCAS English, Mathematics, and Science exams. <clears throat> The class of 2014 has outstanding and talented musicians, whom we've had the pleasure of seeing perform in the Hopkins Chorus, Band, Jazz Band, and Pep Band. This class has exceptional artists and a, and a set of remarkably talented actors and actresses who this year set, set an exceptionally high standard for performance in the drama program. The class of 2014 has outstanding athletes, including the school's all-time leading points, uh, the all-time points leader in soccer. But their, ath their leadership in athletics saw teams rather than individuals to two Western, Western Mass District titles in soccer, a Western Mass District title in golf, and tomorrow, I'm sorry, and a girls basketball team who took their team to the district finals this winter as well. And tomorrow, the boys' baseball team hope to bring home another district title for Hopkins. And now, deservedly so, they've reached the night when we recognize their accomplishments and their achievements with the following awards. In the program tonight that you've been given, all but a handful of awards, are, are the descriptions are given uh, in the program, there are a couple of awards that were surprise on the last day and one that we stumbled on at the end um, that I will share with you that is a remarkable achievement. As each award is announced, you'll be able to read the description of the scholarship or the award from within the program. And now, I'd like to begin with our first award. The James P. Reed Athletic Medal this year goes to Tyler Simkowitz. The James Robert Ryan Prize, Zachary Anderson and Caroline Moriarty. The Emerson Prize, Kira Mahalik. Mary McGrath O'Brien Debating Prize goes to Benjamin Pitta. The Bridget A. Ryan Prizes this year go to Savannah Ring and Jessica Label. The Old Hadley Lions Club Agricultural Scholarship. This year goes to Tyler Simkowitz. The Henry E. Ryan and Arthur Ryan Award goes to Scott Wire. The Hope Grange Youth Mathematics Prize to Jeremiah Hyslop. The American Legion Scholarship to Carrie Cristoforo. The Constance Higgins Alumni Prize, Jess Cotfilia. and the Florence M. Reed English Prize also to Jessica Cotfiller. The Fanny G. Allen Award to Brennan Matrolka.
Brennan, if you could stay. <laughs> this year, the faculty award also goes to Brennan Matrolka. <laughs> the Mary E. Kennedy Award goes to Savannah Ring. The Hadley Young Men's Club Stanley Bennis Memorial Educational Aid Award this year goes to Irene Georgiadis and Lacey Wiskevich. The Dwight History Prize goes to Jacob Kozakowski. The Hadley Education Association Scholarship to Jess Kotfila. The John Philip Sousa Band Award. The John Philip Sousa Band Award to Timothy Hanlon. The Louis Armstrong Award to Jeremiah Heisler. The Bud Neeland Award to Savannah Ring. The Paul W. Brown Senior Baseball Award goes to Andrew Omer. The Major Henry B. Zawacki Memorial Scholarship to Kira Mahalik. The George C. Hibbard Alumni Scholarship to Emily Nigella. The Hadley Mothers Club Prizes Zachary Anderson and Nicholas Bernard. The Burton P. Shores Memorial Prize to Brennan Matrolka. The Alan M. Daniels Memorial Award to Savannah Ring. The Daniel... Am I? No. The Daniel M. Zagronik Memorial Math Prize to Taiwei Chun. The Joseph and Mary Konetsny Prize to Andrew Omer. The Marion Purdy Memorial Scholarship goes to Jacob Kazakowski. This year, the Hopkins Academy Coaches Award is given to Nicole Morrison. The National School Choral Award 
goes to Michael Dwyer. The award given by Hadley People Interested in the Arts is given to Emily Nigella. The Nellie A. and John W. Sikowski Memorial, Memorial Award goes to Caroline Moriarty. <laughs> the Barbara G. and John S. Byron Scholarship Fund Award to Zachary Anderson. Nancy E. Malinowski Urgil Memorial Scholarship goes to Molly Glazier. The Paul A. Klimowski Soccer Award to Brennan Matrolka. The John J. Mish Senior Memorial Scholarship goes to Michael Dwyer. The May and Oscar Johnson Scholarship this year goes to Anna Walker. The Richard A. Graves Memorial Scholarship goes to Jessica Kotfila. The Leon G. Jasinski Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Madison Stevens. The Frank E. Koloski Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Nicholas Bernard. The Joseph Michael Konetsny Junior Award goes to Jacob Kozakowski. The Joseph and Mary E. Zaturka Memorial Award is not being awarded this year. So the next award is the Margaret L. Kelly Memorial Scholarship, and this year it goes to Rebecca Freitag. The Lisa Marie Wiskevich Memorial Award this year goes to Courtney Tudrin. The Northampton Lodge of Elks number 997 scholarship is awarded to Timothy Hanlon. The Sheriff Robert J. Garvey scholarship award goes to Kira Mahalik. The Adolph and Mary Pipchinski Scholarship to Caroline Moriarty and Molly Glazier. The Florence Savings Bank Scholarship 
goes to Anna Walker. The Edward S. Kozier Award goes to Timothy Hanlon. The Golden Hawk Award in memory of Jerry Train Jr. goes to Lacey Wiskevich. The Eleanor Van Dorn Smith Memorial Scholarship goes to Nicholas Bernard. The Stanley and Stacia Kozera Memorial Scholarship this year is awarded to Jacob Kozakowski. The Rotary Scholarship is awarded to Zachary Anderson. The Teddy S. Soldega Memorial Scholarship this year is awarded to Irene Georgiadis and Caroline Moriarty. The Peter Allen Jekinowski Memorial Scholarship this year, this year is awarded, this year is awarded to Carly Lewis. The Michael R. Graybick Jr. Memorial Scholarship is being given to four students, Jacob Kozakowski, Courtney Tudrin, Emily, Emily Nigella, and Molly Glazier. The Barbara Konetsny Memorial Scholarship this year is awarded to Scott Dwyer. The Christopher M. Delisle Scholarship is awarded to Jara Barrett. The Woody Herman Jazz Ensemble Award goes to Brennan Matrolka. The Tom Hannigan Scholarship is awarded to Alex Siraki. The Hampshire, Franklin, and Hamden County Agricultural Society Scholarship was not awarded this year, but the Hampton, Hampshire County College Fair Association Scholarship this year goes to Savannah Ring. The John the John S. Simkowitz Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Molly Glazier.
The Constance Nijelski Memorial Scholarship this year is given to two students, Anna Walker and Tai Wei Chun. The Sandra Walsh Kelly Foundation Award goes to Anna Walker and Jacob Kozakowski. The Tom Cosenzi Memorial Scholarship goes to Nicholas Bernard. The Deborah J. Kozier Memorial Award is given to Kira Mahalik. The Hopkins Academy Sports Booster Club Athletic Awards this year are given to Andrew Omer and Carrie Cristoforo. The Polish American Citizens Club Award goes to Kayla Jacques and Caroline Moriarty. <laughs> the Hopkins Academy Trustees Scholarship in memory of Norman C. Barstow Sr. this year is awarded to Zachary Anderson. The John J. Pipsinski Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jacob Kozakowski. The Jeffrey A. Vizkowski, Vikowski Memorial, Memorial Award this year goes to Brennan Matroka, Ben Pitta, Anna Walker, and Michael Dwyer. The Quincy Jones Scholarship Award this year goes to Benjamin Pitta. And there are two awards which this week were surprises. One which was sent to us. And it's rather fancy. And I'm just going to read what it says. With congratulations to Hopkins Academy, 2000, the 2013 recipient of the Lusitano Alumni and Fans Award, presented to the outstanding Western Mass high school soccer player in Division IV, goes to Tyler Simkowitz. This year, the, the, Margaret, the Margaret Dion Scholarship goes to Molly Glazier and Nicholas Bernard. Well, Molly, Nick, on top, sorry. Earlier this week, we had stumbled on something that was a complete surprise to us at Hopkins. It's something that doesn't happen in high schools anywhere. The, it, it literally, this achievement is a nearly statistical impossibility. 
But here at Hopkins, we have a student who did it, and it was worthy of recognizing and worthy of recognizing in public. The student had perfect attendance for four years. Not one year, not last year, not sometime in the elementary school, all four years of high school. It is my great pleasure to give the Perfect Attendance Award to Rebecca Freitag. I guarantee you she will cut her first class at college. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations to each of the recipients. Again, this is a remarkable and amazing class and these awards are well deserved. Thank you to the members of the community who work so hard to provide these awards to our students to help them along the way. Thank you.